Hello, this is Lolly, and we are going to be making a card today. We are going to be using the new stamp set, which is the stamp of the the Stamp Club set from Tonic Studios. This is called Totally Awesome, and it has these adorable hippos and elephants and a turtle with just the most adorable sayings. Little birthday extras and hats and balloon and cake and presents, and you're just going to love it. And then this is the matching die set. So I'm going to get these stamped out and I'm going to use cardstock that Copic markers can be blended on. So I'm going to use the Tim Holtz Photonic Studio stamping platform. And I realize that this is no longer available in the US. I think the small one is. So that's on there. Now, let's do this. I want to use this hippo here, and I want to use him twice. I'm going to open his little hands up and put something in his hands. And I will do the balloon. Some of these I will have to stamp twice, so I will come back and do them again. I am going to use, let's see, a party hat, and I'll use the present, this little heart, and let's see, the cake, and I think, how about the birdie? I love this little birdie flying around. Where'd he go? Right here. And then, and when I'm done stamping, I'm going to do an extra of the hippo and of the balloon here. Make sure I have this set for clear. And I'm going to use, this is the Black Shadow Hybrid Ink Pad because I know that it's waterproof and I can use it to, I can use it for my Copic markers. Remember, the first time you're using clear stamps, you may need to stamp them more than once because they need to be seasoned a little bit with the ink. Let's see how well we did. I think the present needs a little more. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to move the hippo and restamp him and the balloon. I'm going to color all of these with the markers, and then I'm going to cut them out with the dies and make a cute little birthday scene card. Good enough. Okay, let's get this done. All right, let's zoom in here. Let me cut off this excess Whenever I do coloring, people ask how I know what to shade. So in a nutshell, I will show you pretty quickly here, and then I'll proceed. When you're coloring, you're always imagining a light source, and I think it's just easier for me to always remember the light source is coming from the top right. That way, it's consistent for me. So that means everything on the bottom left will get darker than the, anything close to the light. So if I'm shading this part of his head, this part will be darker and maybe even this part. And anything that is un any part of the image that's under something else, like this is under his chin, I could add something dark under his entire chin, under both his arms, etc., under the fold of his little belly. But for the most part, the left side of his body will be darker than the right side. So I am going to give you a list of my marker colors down below this video, and let's get going.
Alrighty. So I'm going to do the other hippo off camera in order to save time. I did want to point out that, you know, I dropped marker here. Fortunately, it landed here and not on my drawing. Really happy with that. So another thing you could do is to take, uh, if you wanted, you could take a white gel pen and add highlights or to the balloons. I'm going to do something different and use a little glittery spray on them. So I will do this one off camera and then we will die cut these out. So I'm done coloring all of those. I am going to see what fits on my cutting plate here and start putting my dies on. So obviously when it comes to the balloons and the hippos, I can only do one at a time. I'm going to tape them on with the purple tape and run them through the die cutter. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is use this Sheer Simmer Shimmer Mist by Imagine. I'm going to spray the tops of these two balloons. Now it gets them a little kind of warped a little bit, but I'm just going to lay them flat and I'm going to let them dry and they will flatten out. Okay, so let's put this up and let's get a card base. Now I am using an A2 card. And these, I just something I had on my stock from when I used to sell cards, plain card stock. And this is a linen weave. Okay. Now I want to show you in the die set, it comes with this cloud. And you can uh, cut out varying layers of card stock to make clouds, or you can cut out one to use as a mask in inking. So I cut this one out here. I'm going to put all my little lovely pieces aside. I'm going to use this craft mat. It's a non-stick Teflon, but it's always good because you can, um, you can wipe up the ink in a project really easily. So I'm going to lay that. I'm going to use the Nouveau Hybrid Polar Ice with their blending brushes. And I'm just going to lay this here and hold on to that while I'm kind of inking over the edges here. If you're not sure if you've gotten, got it, hold on to one end and peek and see if you're happy with it before you move it on. Now I'm just going to do part of it right here. I'm making sure I'm not getting that part there. Then I'm going to come back and do this. Just a light one right there. Perfect. Okay, I like that. It's, it's understated. I mean, it's not so over the top with being dark. Okay, now the other thing I want to do is to grab this grass die and I want to cut two layers of grass and I want to uh, cut a deeper layer of grass for the back and a shorter one in the front so I'm going to use different heights of green okay so now we have the deeper grass for the back and the shorter grass for the front and I'm going to put my hippos in between those now you'll notice that it's wider than my card so when I cut off an end, in order that these are not perfectly duplicated with each other, I want to cut off the right end on one and the left end on the other. That way the grass looks staggered. So let's get my scissors out here. You could also distress the ends to give them a little bit more color. So that's the right end. And now I want to cut the left end off. Now we have two completely different looking 
chunks of grass there. So what I'm going to do is glue that on there, then put the hippos and then the other layer of grass. But before I glue anything down, I want to cut open around his little paws there. Do you call them paws on a hippo? Does anyone know? Just legs, <laughs> what do we call them? So what I want to do is open up around this paw, whatever, there, and so that he can hold something. I'm going to do that on both of these. One is going to hold a present, and the other one is going to hold the balloons. So I'm going to go just outside that black line there. That would be a really cool thing to do on a die, would be to create the dies with an extra die that opened up the hands like this so you wouldn't have to cut with your craft blade. Because, you know, what if you do all that coloring and then you mess up? Okay, let's make sure. Oh yeah, that one's open. Let's do the other one. So let's go ahead and get that glued. You could put your cardstock on some double-sided tape before cutting it so that you wouldn't have to glue all these little blades of grass. And I'm not that particular of making sure that each blade of grass is glued down because I think it would add more dimension if some of the grass blades start, oh, peeling up a little bit. There we go. Okay, now this cute little guy, he's going to hold the present like this. So I'm going to tuck a little bit of glue behind the gift on the left side and put that in there at an angle and put him right here on the left side. And I'm also going to glue the back of the present from here. And I'm not putting him all the way down. Putting him right about there. And then when we put this on, it will cover up the very tips of his toes. And this one is going to hold the balloons. I think what I'm going to do is glue the balloons right here first before I put them in his little hands. Just a quick thought. How cute is this? Is this adorable or what? Okay, back to the video. You also can put the, um, the hippos at different heights in the card. You know, this one can be a little further back. He doesn't have to be on the same level with that one. Okay, and the grass. Now you notice that a lot of the grass is sticking up and that is so fine for me. Now let's give this hippo a hat. I think I'd give this one a hat. Oh, that's okay, let's do that. It kind of balances it out because those balloons take up a lot of room. I'm gonna cover up one ear and maybe on the cake, let's put the cake up on foam so it has a little extra dimension there and it will be in the forefront of our picture. There we go. Now in the stamp set, there's a stamp that says Hippo Birthday to You, and I really want to use that because I think that's adorable. Hippo Birthday to You. And I'm going to stamp that. And another set that um, is available from Tonic Studios is this, which is the banners and strips die set and I want to use this set right here I'm going to use the largest three because I think that the smallest one is too small to go around my sentiment but if you notice all the sentiments they kind of make them coordinate with these in size so this is the one that will fit around there let's get the black out again oh perfect then I will use this die to cut that out, and I think I will use colors, two different colors, to cut out these two layers. Okay, there's my dies, and here are my pieces. Perfect. I'm going to get those glued up. Oh, I love this scallop. So pretty. And it goes with the colors of my balloon, so I'll put that up in here. And I think I will put that up on foam tape as well. And 
The other thing I would like to do is put a couple of dots here to look like almost like rivets in my sign. So I'm going to use the, what color is this? Uh, apple green crystal drops. And Nouveau drops are self-leveling, so those will turn out into nice little round dots before it's all said and done. Another thing, ooh, I just thought too, I would like to put some fire on those. So I have some gold stickles and I will put that over the flames. Very cute. Another thing you could do would be to put a little tie around the balloons here, very fun. So there you go, that's my little project for this stamp set. Very cute, such a fun card. And I have already given or promise this to my daughter for her birthday. So thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoyed that. Make sure you look up a here to this video because I think you will enjoy that one as well.